If Facebook says it returns to China only if it can do so in keeping with its values and free expression in a country where free expression is censored, does that mean the social network going back to China is impossible? Well, let's be a little clear about what the situation looks like right now. There is no possibility that Facebook gets to be unblocked in China anytime soon. Uh, However, the company does have a business there selling ads to Chinese companies that want to reach people outside the country. So they are making money in the Chinese market, a lot of money. Uh, and they have tried every once in a while to launch an app there. There was one last year called Colorful Balloons. It didn't do so well, but it was a photo sharing app in China. So they are interested in that market. However, Facebook itself, the main social network, is unlikely to, to return. Now, Sheryl Sandberg uh, spoke a little bit about this when she testified uh, several weeks ago on Capitol Hill. Take a listen to this exchange with Senator Marco Rubio. We would only operate in a country when we can do so in keeping with our values. Right. And that would apply to China as well. That would apply to China as well. Now, keep in mind, next to Sandberg was an empty chair for Google. They did not show up. Uh, and this was at sort of the height of the China controversy. What do you make of Cheryl's statement in that context? I think it's a lot easier for Facebook to come out and say that they are adhering by their strong values mm -hmm. when you have Google getting so much criticism and public pushback for its plans to enter China, including from their own employees, right? Their project, which Sundar Pichai says is, is critical because of that, the size of that market, that used to be what, what Facebook would say. They used to say on their earnings calls, I don't know, if you're, a few years ago, they would say that, you know, our mission is connecting the world. How can we connect the world? without connecting one of its most populous countries. That was their line. But now that Google is under the microscope for this decision and getting a lot of public pushback for it, you know, this is really not the time for Facebook to be in that camp. Now, Bloomberg is reporting that Google executives have been having sort of informal meetings with employees to try to get them on side in this China situation. I did talk to Ruth Porat, the CFO of Al Alphabet, about China, and she said, as Sundar Pichai has said repeatedly, we are not close to launching a search product in China, and given this year, scale of the market. We are focused on making sure we are doing the right things for the long term. So some mixed messages there. Um, Nuala, what's your take, whether it's Facebook or Google going back to China? Well, you've already made all the right points, which is it's almost impossible to op operate a truly open and free expression platform of any kind, given the censorship requirements of the Chinese government. So it's clear that certain data and some information will be blocked from Chinese users, and they simply won't have a full understanding of the world. Further, given the data localization requirements increasingly put on companies doing business in China and in a number of parts of the world, it's impossible to say that the company would protect the privacy of the users with complete certainty against government intrusions, given that data will be located in the country about them. So to say, you've already made a great point that it's a kind of moot point since they're blocked right now, but for any company considering doing business in China, they've got to look at very carefully what the risks are, the real world human risks to their end users. Should their data be exposed? Should they express a contrary opinion to the government? Should they just express kind of behavior that seems unpopular to that government? They are potentially putting lives at risk. Now, Sundar Pichai has, has pushed back on some of those points. He has said that, look, Google does operate in other countries where there is, censor is censorship and they abide by those laws. And if Google were to re-enter China, perhaps they could combat some of the misinformation that already exists there. He referred to, um, you know, false advertisements about uh, cancer treatments that, you know, have led to some patients not being treated appropriately. What about some of those arguments? I'm really a fan and in favor of more information and more truth and more free expression around the world. And so I think there is validity to some of those points. But there's also the other side of the argument that by validating a censored regime, by buying into the notion that certain information should not be available to individuals simply because the government disagrees with it, you are validating a censorship machine. And more countries are then going to come to those companies and say, well, you did it for China. You can do it for us as well. The bigger picture here I worry about is we are looking increasingly at a bifurcated internet where you've got a Chinese model and an American model and other countries are going to have to decide which one they follow. And if you're looking at more totalitarian or more authoritative, authoritative regimes in other parts of the world, those companies are going to sign up for the Chinese model.